The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. The Cardassian Podcast. Listen if you want to. Hello and welcome to. Hello. I was, oh my god! Everybody. I almost said. I almost said that's a watermelon podcast. That's why you don't start the podcast. I know. Yeah. I'm just so Eric focused on, on my on my segment, which is the most popular segment. I know. I don't know about the hold your applause. Maybe it is popular, but not for the reasons you want it to be, honey. Because of my, it's my. I know it's my voice. It's a soothing voice to listen to. So, yeah. so anyway, I hope everybody is having a great fall. I hope it's going great. We're in wait the sp- season or the season, bitch. What do you think? Yeah, I'm talking what else? About? Like they're falling off. If of- you're listening yeah, to this podcast, falling, falling, falling. I hope you're living it and loving it. Are you falling in love? Are you falling deeper and deeper? Further you go. Anyway. I don't know what else to say to them. Are you skydiving right now? Anyway. That's what I was saying. Like, you anyway, were saying like they were skydiving. Uh, sure. Anyway, we're glad you are all back listening to our podcast. Thank you so much for your reviews. They mean a lot. Please continue to do yeah. so. Yeah, the good ones. Yeah. Or yeah, or the troll ones. But I know you still love us deep down. Yeah. Um, also, was there anything you two wanted to talk about? I'm just... Like, what... I don't know. I'm, Life updates. They like to know those kind of things. There's a new video out. I believe by the time this goes out, there's a new video with that pairing. Mm-hmm. Nikki and Lana. So. That pairing. You don't want to say Nikki and Lana? No, it's fine. What do you mean it's fine? Well, Are you I'm jealous just that saying, people like their videos or something? No, I'm glad people like their video. Oh, their that videos. Pairing. I thought you were talking about Prudence and Zach. No, not not those two. Not the kids. Uh, Nikki and Lana. They have like they're like a new. They've been around, but they never had their own like solo videos the like them. us. They have only had the one where they did that song, which is probably the most popular song in Sim GM. Um, yeah, band. but other than that, Rosen yeah, but, but yeah, they they seem to be doing well. I'm glad we got you know that we're liking it, you know, because we're all in this together, right? Yeah, we're all a family. And, and there's you- a certain cameo I won't say who. From one of the three of us. So just tune in if you haven't watched it. Yeah. Quite the cameo. Anyway. Anyway. And and fits that person to a T. What? V. What are you talking about? The cameo fits the person to a T. Okay. So you said to a V. Well, I said a TV. Because that's the full phrase. Shout out. Nobody. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, my God. Anyway, so we're going to get into the first segment. Um, But before we do that, be sure to grab merch at shopsimgm.com. Okay. And also, another reminder, don't spam the podcast forums. Yeah. That's just the thing we have to do now. Two or three posts is okay, but like several and... It's been getting better. I haven't seen a lot of spam. So thank you. So... You left your questions and comments for us at simgmproductions.com slash podcast. And now we're responding. Also, yeah. let us know in the comments if you ever say our intros with us. They should be listening, period. Some of them might say. All right. I think because it's like a community thing, they could say it with us. Okay, well, I go on about this, but we got to get into Oscar Laura's question. Or Oscar um, Lara, Lara. Love it. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, Cardassians. Chloe, you are a fighter and survivor. And Courtney, you are so wise. And Kim, you can be smart too sometimes. Oh my God. Anyway. Well, sometimes. Wait. I mean, that's a compliment. That's an improvement. Hey. Anyways, my question is for all of you. If you guys were on a boat with no food or water, what would you guys do? P.S. You guys are so watermelon. Well, it, well thank did, you what, so much, Oscar. What yeah, kind, what, of, what kind boat? of boat are we like, talking cause about? Like, because if it's a yacht, we're fine. Listen, we've been on many types of boats and they all, you know, one thing is for sure, you're going to be surrounded by water. So we're good with water. Um, but you the, can't drink seawater. Mm, like, I, yeah. think you, I think you have to freeze it first and then you can like lick it. But hey, that's you can't, what they like, say. Just drink it. That's just what they say. 
because they I mean, want so they want us to buy bottled water. It's all about profit these days. That's why oh God, it says Daniel we're Trump. on a boat, but not in the middle of the ocean. So I would just get out of the boat. Yeah, if we're still on, if we're still docked or on, look land. at Courtney trying to find her way out of things again. I mean, simple. I mean, you cheated on Diva Power. Yeah, you know. But no, I listened to the rules. That was bullshit. That was anyway, such bullshit. Without food or water. So as you said, you know, you said I'm a fighter and survivor. So naturally, I would just figure it out. How? Like, like they're literally saying, what Put would me you in the do? environment and I will figure it out. Listen, we've been through a lot of stuff. You, as you know, we've been in haunted mansions. We've been in, we've been to Jurassic Park. We, we've, you know, been thrown into purges. We always find we survived a way. the Titanic, so I okay. think I would just use that method. Then fine, we we could do a video where we're stranded, not probably not on a boat, but like a raft, and see what you would do, Chloe. We'll do that after we do a video about you going to court for a go go gum. So yeah, we'll put it on the we'll list. Well, d- lucky for me, those are all closed to the public, and and really shouldn't be the public. Mom business. will find a way, and you know she will. Close to the public, honey. There's no such thing with our yeah. family. It closed to the public. That's hilarious. I think mom yeah. was talking to one of the judges about mm-hmm. filming it, but she said it was for it's my gonna own be, good. It's going to be a series of cases in one video. We're still going to do this, and I'm going to produce it. I can see it right now. Kim Kardashian goes to court. That's the video. That's Kim Kardashian gets home. sued. Kim Kardashian gets sued. Hmm. Anyway, all right, we're gonna move on to the next one. But thank you so much, Oscar. Uh, thank but you, yeah, Oscar. we would survive. And thank you. And we're moving on to the next one, which is from City Girl Glow. I love the last part of your name. Mm. We'll see. Okay, it says, "Good evening." Slay Dassims. Interesting. Oh, wow. I think I kind of like that. I like that. And we do slay. I wish I could Almost. say, I wish I could say my first podcast forum post would be more positive. But, well, I mean, it started positive. Yeah, it did. Like- but, but thanks to Chloe. Oh, here we go. Thanks to Chloe. That couldn't be further from the truth. No. Okay. When I let, saw Glow. Let her, let when I saw cook. Glow. When I saw Glow, I knew something bad was going to happen. What? Uh, For the past couple of years, I have been using the Glow, Glow, Glow Rootastic Shampoo and Conditioner. And my hair has never been slicker. And I absolutely love. Silkier. And I absolutely love how it prevents my roots from growing. Mm Hmm. Okay. Do you. My only complaint is how the shampoo runoff in my apartment pipes has caused the building's foundation to collapse and be condemned. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's some powerful shampoo and conditioner. Anyways, the other night I got an email from a mysterious account telling me to buy a case of booty booty pop juice or else my booty hole pics would be protected on the tallest building in the world. I decided I had no other choice but to betray the fighter and survivor, Kim, oh please, and buy the booty booty pop juice. Oh my god. The ne- this is wow. all a lie. The next Literally- morning Biggest betrayal. Oh, my God. The next morning, I was horrified by what I saw when I looked in the mirror. My once perfect rootless hair now has roots that won't go away no matter what I do. I even tried to shave my head to get rid of the hideous roots. But the chemicals in the booty booty pop juice prevent the roots from going away as they should. Meaning, I'm stuck with a bad hair day for the rest of my life. Chloe, there is a lawsuit coming your way. I hope you go bankrupt. Kim, you are the most watermelon sister, and I will love you forever. Courtney, you're irrelevant. Wow. wow. So, first of all, I, like I don't see what the problem is. Second of all, I don't 
Are you kidding me? First they of all, it, first, that of all there? first of all, if you Chloe. are suing Booty Booty Pop Juice, honey, you're suing the company. You're not suing me. I do not own Booty Booty Pop Juice. So if you want to sue them and you were talking if so, about if you want to sue them and lose, that's on you. Uh, I did not email anybody. I don't know what this is about. I get, yeah, but Chloe, I get paid the made, same no matter what. You've so. made a fan base that demands booty that actually has booty hole pics. So you're telling me that this person who used your product to get rid of their roots, which is and especially if they're blonde, this is a no go. Okay. You absolutely any hairstyle, any hair color, creed, you want to get rid of your roots, this is the way you do it. Okay, but we've all Some seen people you. don't believe in roots or even hair follicles. Yeah, uh-huh. Because when they're talking about getting rid of the ribs, I pretty much said, do you have hair left? But no, what they're referring to at this point is them talking about like not having like the natural, you know, your roots coming in. And that's what looks best with blonde hair. I'm sorry. Now, you did not have to listen to that email. That was on you. And if you have booty hole pictures out there, honey, I don't know anything about that. I don't I don't I don't collect them. I don't know anything about that. Uh The good thing about Glow 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 Root-tastic shampoo and conditioner is that it does eliminate your hair, but in a way that it then seeps into your What do you thoughts. mean it eliminates your hair? Well, in the physical world, you no And the longer, pipes, apparently, and the foundation of this building. In the physical world, you know... You want to talk well, about that's that? Why you're, that's why you're supposed to wash it outside. So even though I love you, City Girl Glow, you were supposed to wash your hair outside. Outside to what? Destroy the plants and the environment? No, you collect it in a bucket and you make sure the bucket can hold waste. Not necessarily for the shampoo and conditioner, but that's just a good bucket to have. Radiation bucket. Yeah, it would eat right through that bucket. So you would want them to shampoo their hair into one of those waste baskets that have like the radiation symbol, caution symbol on it. Just because it it has that symbol doesn't mean that's for radioactive things, but But in this case it is, isn't it? Well, haven't you ever seen like t-shirts with like the warning sign and that doesn't mean like that person is actually a warning sign. They're just wearing it but uh-huh. the thing about the glow 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 oh rutastic shampoo and conditioner is that it does eliminate your hair and it gives you the illusion of seeing any kind of hairstyle you want so you can live your best life and not have to actually worry about like oh let me comb my hair let me brush my because hair there won't be any hair to do that exactly and the roots but are gone. you can see <laughs> the fumes allow you to see what you want to see on your head well thanks to booty That's booty the pop best juice thing about imagination well the best thing about booty booty pop juice not only did it give you the proper roots but it gave you beautiful silky hair it made the mistake but you can't once you reverse the glow 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 rutastic shampoo and conditioner and you if grow you back the hair with something like the booty booty pop juice, then it won't be the same that it was before. Yeah, it won't be the same because they have hair now. I think so, Kim. Anyway, you're anyway, you want to sue booty booty pop juice for saving your luscious locks and giving you beautiful roots? That's on you, honey, but you're gonna lose. Okay. Now that person who sent that email to you, I recommend going to your nearest police department and reporting it. I don't know anything about that, but you shouldn't sue the company for doing its job and making the world a better place by giving you. But you should sue Chloe for having fans like that who would that's not how it works. Something so rude and so in pocket. Shut up. Anyway, we're moving on. Yeah, please, because city glow glow doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh my God. Courtney, get over it. Yeah. Get You're irrelevant. Over it. Oh my God. I'm already over it. Now, the next one is from Chloe. Yes, my name is Chloe. Well, it's my middle name. Okay, so, so it's your middle lied. name. You so lied. it's your middle name, and you wanted to put it because you think that I'm going to give you extra treatment and make you special. Well, you're right. We are the best. All right. Wow. Wow. Well, that right. is so biased. Yeah. Anyway, hey, Cardassians with a heart, with a heart, um, a kiss heart wink. emoji. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Shut up. 
Carcass anyway, on carcass. I have a question. And if you two shut the hell up, I can answer it for her. I have a question. When will Chloe ever make a skincare business? Because her skin is so flawless. And I have it's a question. It's called airbrushing. And I have a question for Kat. When will you shut down your business? Oh, and one for Courtney. Why are you so cool? Jade. Oh, your name is Jade, not Chloe. This is so a betrayal. Jade. Okay, I'm going to answer Jade's question. Um, thank you so much, Jade. I uh, love my skin as well. You know, it wasn't always like this. Becoming a fire and survivor and getting that revenge body allowed my skin to naturally oh glow. Naturally. Chloe is the queen of tricking you with her Simstagram. I am pictures. trying to answer Jade's question. So, she with pays someone extra. For the flawlessness. Yeah, for the flawlessness. You catch my uh, we all pay extra for the flawlessness on our Instagram. Let's well, be honest. yeah. Shh, shh, shh. Anyway, so I want to open up a skincare business so you can look exactly the way I do on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Exactly the way I do. So just know if you use my skincare, which which we will look into, it's probably be separate from Booty Booty Pop Juice, but maybe we can partner up because I we're such like a success together. Filters. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be called it's gonna be called Instagram uh, skin because it's gonna make you look just like a filter. I feel like they would people would think they're losing their eyesight because they'd be like, oh, my God, you look so blurry. Mm, am am I losing my eyesight? Is something wrong? That's just being called flawless. And they'll still have skin afterwards. And if they don't like it, they can wipe it off because nothing's permanent with my products, Kim. So is it speaking a makeup of, or is it a of, skin product? Speaking of products, so uh, about you, Kim, when are you uh, going to shut down your business? Well, you know, it's funny that people say that, but, you know, we shut down the business and reopen it all the time. It's called <laughs> reinventing yourself. It's called your businesses get shut down by the it's government called, um, and you have to yeah. reopen another one. It's, it's called Chloe. evading the law. And uh -huh. Courtney, when you I know you guys don't know a lot about business, but you don't have a real business until you have these two things. This is like a lesson. So like write yeah, this down. Teach me, them. please. Write this down on your computer. Okay, I'm ready. With your pencil. When you have these two things, the first one is rating. R-A rating. When you have ratings in your business, meaning... People come in, they search your equipment, they search the papers, they move some things around, they look in boxes. If you haven't been rated, you're talking about you, you like an someone F coming FBI in and, raid. and rating, not like a rating. I thought she was about to talk about rating. I was like, we no. have ratings, but no, no this bitch is talking about a squad in. team coming in. Yeah. CIA, FBI, like when you have somebody raid your business, when that's they're out how to you get know. you, right? That's how you know you're on to you something. That's yeah, you're, you're on to something. Go and to the then, second one, bitch. And then the second way that you know is if you're in the red. Like, I don't, I've stressed that so many times. If I were to give like a um, presentation, how many times do we have to tell you red is not good? It's not good. And you they mean to tell me you, when your businesses were raided, you were just like living. I'm like, this is everything. That's what you were doing. Like you were in the middle of the foundation and I you were just there. like, oh I'm my God, there. look at all these people there. wanting my product. Well, that's why when the raid happens, we have a tunnel system. We have a protocol. We move what needs to be moved. We don't want our secrets getting out there. Like, so if there's certain papers that we have, it's out of there. Like I said, there's a protocol. We rehearse and we cooperate from a distance. You guys have drills to hide all your shit. And it's called a code black and our, uh, so let me our guess. employees know what to do. You have vanished, which is not related to your business anyway. Just come it's, in and you're just like, everybody do it. Like, you know what this you is. You have to consider vanish as like a contractor. How does like, everyone know to be alerted? Some, so, you, know. you know, some don't always 
make it out. You guys have like an alarm go off when it's you're about to the voice. There's it's been Kim's a couple telling of them. arrests, but anyway, this is not okay. That's not a good thing. And the question is, when are you shutting? Well, apparently you shut it down many times, so that's the answer. And we yeah, reopen. That that's answer. that's what you need to do. Sometimes you need to step back from your business. You can't live your life for your business. You and, have to step back, and, shut down. And when they rate, they have to go underground because that's where her business is located. Get your permit, get your licenses again, settle it in court, and then you reopen. In a hive. Anyway, Courtney, the question for you, why are you so cool, queen? I mean, isn't that obvious? I no. think they mean temperature. They have to be talking temperature. A cool temperature? Yeah, you're a cold-blooded you have bitch. have to keep a cool head mm. and not care about anything. So that's how you be cool. Yeah. Well, she's not. So how's she gonna explain? Well, listen, Chloe. Oh, my mistake. Jade. That's what they think. Chloe, well, they get said over their middle it. name is Chloe, so they didn't lie. Yeah, they didn't lie. They but lied. <laughs> they can make it like when I saw that dash Jade at the end, I was just like, <laughs> "That's so. That's so. That's so watermelon. So watermelon. Watermelon." Welcome to segment two, That's So Watermelon, where we're given five random topics and we decide if each thing is so watermelon or so not watermelon. First topic. Don't. You changed it up a little bit. What? Courtney, can we please? I I just wanted to address that. If there's one thing about me, I'm always inconsistent. So I always try to stay the same. That's very true. I always try to stay the same. You have uh-huh. to be inconsistent. Oh You're mm. in consistency. Got it. Got it. Love it. Can we please? No. Do you know what I mean? You're in the consistency. Oh, you're wrong. Therefore, you're inconsistent. Great. First topic: whales. So watermelon or so not watermelon? Whales are cool. I think whales are so watermelon when they are far from me. Far. Far. Um, Far from me, where I can, if I, I see know, them, Chloe. if I see them, you know. Chloe has a fear of whales. Uh, listen, we she, have to talk she about literally it. cried watching Sim Free Willy. <sighs> listen, when whales are very far from me and I have to use like binoculars to like see how just how far they are, I'd be like, yeah. cool, over there, over there. But just don't. Just so don't. you wouldn't do really well if they're you were huge. stuck on a boat or a okay. she, does, she doesn't do well with whales. They are wow. huge. And it and there's different kind of whales, okay? Some are yeah, even bigger than the big whales, ones. Which are the most popular ones yeah. because of the movie. It's in the name, that's all I'll say. I think that to me, if I were a fish and I saw Where? a whale, I would just be like that is a little bit rude to take up so much space. And imagine That's why they would eat you. Imagine I'm in a school of fish and like, how am I supposed to get around it? It's like, yeah, sure, I could go under it, but you don't know what you might find underneath it. I can't go above it because it's too tall. So like, I have to wait for this big bus to go by, this train you might before get lost I can go. Finding Kim over here. Yeah. What? That'd be a good film. Yeah, Finding Kim. Finding K E M. Because you'd be a fish. Mm hmm. And we're finding. How him. come I would be the one that's lost? Because you just, I mean, you're talking about if anything- a whale taking up a lot of space. In a huge ocean, and I just feel like anybody Oceans who has that are kind huge, of thought but would get so lost much- in the ocean. You have the brain of a fish. Okay, I wasn't going to say it that way. That. Fish are very smart. Sure. They go anyway, to school. They're I in think school whales, all the time. I think whales are just fine, but are they so watermelon? No, they're nothing of the sort. I think they're, I so, think watermelon. they're so watermelon. I just don't agree with how big they are. What's wrong with big whales? They're too- they have the whole ocean. So I'll tell you what's terrifying. wrong with big whales. They're terrifying. Period. Okay, Chloe, you need a little therapy. Have you ever looked at a whale's like fins? I don't think Please. I have. I'm I don't want to so talk focused. about this. 
I'm always so focused on their body that I don't like. Do they have little fins? I or thought that big they ones? had little. Don't they have like things on the top of their body? It's like it's like a air thing. They're all whatever. different. Three other yeah, different ones. Different size fins. Like the but, orca. Yeah, they all, they all have a bl- blowhole. Oh my god! I don't want to talk about this anymore. Next topic: transparency in business. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Kim. What? I'm going to say it is. Chloe has oh, no problem nothing. with transparency in our business. So what about oh, nothing? Well, I just wanted to say your name, Kim. That's where you're wrong. You absolutely should hold your cards close to your titties. You shouldn't ever share everything about your business with the public. It's none of well, their yeah, business. You don't want to share everything, but... It's a yeah. case of you should at least none tell what's there. important. Transparency. Unless they own a percentage of my business, it's literally none of their business. Okay, but what if they're your customers and they need to know information that's just relatively important? We have a website. Yeah, like what chemicals are in your products? We yeah, have you a have call a website. Center. Yeah, you- I list all of the chemicals and ingredients in our products that right illegal. on our website. We don't always put it on the bottle because why do they need? I don't want competition stealing. Oh, you put it on the bottle, but you need a magnifying glass to read it. Well, yes. In some cases, yes. All cases, bitch. I don't want people stealing what we do. The same thing with the FBI, the CIA. Business. (sighs) There's a difference between saying, oh, that's my personal business has nothing to do with you like you stay out of my business at- that is not the same as running a business you stupid bitch it is not you know same. how at the beginning of movies it has that thing that says fbi warning if yeah. you copy yeah. this blah 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 you, you can't skip it or if you were able to fast forward it back in the day but when that you have to look at that and think of glow 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 it's a glow go glow, glow mm. warning if you try to copy this you go to jail and Nobody's you get gonna fined. copy your product. They absolutely yeah. will. That's how business works. You copy and then you innovate. But I'm like something that's doing something original. I don't want somebody to take that. That's just You're business 102. Original horribly. And I that, don't it's I not it's working. not it's horrible if somebody tries to do it. Anyway, transparency is very important in business. Yes, you don't give away all your trade secrets and all of that. You think Booty Booty Pop Juice is listing all of their ingredients on there? Yes, bitch, all of them. You have to legally. Yes, you have to, and we make sure you can read it. Anyway, because you never know something could be allergic to it or something like that, right? But do you consider that? Do you? Allergies are sometimes just in the mind. Oh, my God. Anyway, transparency is very important. And Courtney, you know, Courtney's had her issue. Like, we've all had our issues with our products, but you've learned that being transparent. I even have a transparent box. Yes, you do. Does it make you go transparent or is the box actually just clear? No, people no. use them in magic shows mainly. You can, definitely. But yeah, it is transparent. If you go in the box, well, no, not even then, because I think you Are would you just be looking to, like a crouch a looking weird. Is transparent box that you can see what's in, so people could see what's inside the box? Well, I've already explained that we have like a box case to display your other special box. Yeah, yeah, oh that's God. the display case. Yeah. That's for the special ones. But the transparent one is actually in a display case, and people will be like, what's in there? And it's just like, oh, that's my transparent box. So it yeah, you can't you, if sell you'd the like, box. If you're that proud of that transparency if you box. Put some, I think what Kim's asking is if you put something in the transparent box, does it can become invisible? The, or does, yeah, does it, it become invisible or can you see it? No, you can still see it. Yeah. So, the so you're like holding up the glass. box and you can see everything rumbling inside of that. Exactly. When, you're, when you're holding it up, so it's not no like an invisible. It's not and, like it's not like Harry Potter's like invisible cloak where everything goes like invisible. Yeah, including the cloak. Mm-hmm. Which is yeah, we don't want any lawsuits or something. Next topic: representing yourself in court. So watermelon or so not watermelon. Cam. Hopefully that will never happen. Well, as a lawyer. Well, you did it once. You did it once. And that was before you were a lawyer. 
Well, yeah, but well, I was already working my way towards that goal. Yeah. And I will say, like, as a lawyer, I would advise you to to get a proper lawyer like me to represent you in court rather than unless you are a lawyer yourself, I would suggest you don't represent yourself. Pro in court. bono. No, I, I, like I said, I have no sexual interest in my clients. You, I you just still think, haven't learned what that meant, have yeah, you? Yeah, you don't know what that means. That's hilarious that you think it is sexual. I just think that you should always have a good lawyer, and a good lawyer would be somebody like me. That's why I was able to represent myself in court. Yeah. But it wasn't watermelon. So, rep- so representing yourself is not so watermelon. It's film. not. Not so watermelon. I'm going to say it's so not watermelon because given the example of what I saw my sister do, I don't think it's the best. Yeah. Why would you want to do that to yourself? Unless you've studied the way that I have bikini outside on the balcony. You're oh not going to know the proper things to say in court. Like you won't know what certain words mean. Like. Uh, court is adjourned. A lot of people don't know what that means. I know I didn't. What so does I was it mean? there for the rest of the day until somebody said, oh, you have to leave. Oh, my God. Anyway, exhibit A, it, it's not, it's so not watermelon. Yeah, I mean, well, you just have to know what you're doing. So, yeah, on in general, so not watermelon. Next topic, group chats. So watermelon or so not watermelon? Group um, chat. I feel like did we ever talk about group chats? No, I don't think. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't to, think. So. To me, group chats are good well, when you want to be in them. You have, yeah, you have to have certain people in them. So, for example, me and Chloe have one with the rest of the family, and and it's called not Courtney. Mm-hmm. And so it's all of us, but without Courtney. Yeah. Um, and I think that's fair. How she found out about it, I don't know. One of us I had to leave. Ways. Listen, everybody has their own group chats and their own names. Like, listen, I have one with Courtney, and then I have one with everybody else. So that's Courtney, true. and then there's one with the entire family and mom it's not used very often yeah mom likes to go in there a lot because we like to talk about each other and how are you going to do that if everybody's in the same there's been times where courtney had sent to the whole family kim is such a stupid bitch but i know she didn't mean that um i I meant to send that to the that was the correct chat yeah the family chat no that had to have been a mistake no she meant with you and no that was that was right she meant with you in it is that really I, shocking? I stand by my words. She actually sent it to me separate and then she copied and pasted it and just threw it. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, that was a mistake what? when well, I sent I, it I just figured to it was a mistake because nobody disagreed um, in the chat. So I was thinking like, oh, yeah. she, I think the whole chat knows this was a mistake. Yeah. Right. Kylie gave it a thumbs up. Yeah, and then... I think I think I can't I think it was Rob who re- reacted with like a smile thing, but it's probably because they knew, oh, about, look at that her was most likely about a different subject. And, I, you know, Kylie sometimes doesn't mean to react. It, to it was it was the same one. But anyway, group chats are so watermelon, uh, yeah. but yeah. they are annoying if you're trying to sleep and your yeah. family is texting. It's like, stop. Then do not disturb. And time. Mostly, and then, mostly the, mom. And then the next thing you see is. Yeah, when mom joins in, you get these messages saying, you know, Courtney left, Kim left, Chloe left, Kylie yeah. left, you yeah. know. Like she just says, hi, honeys. And then and we are all everybody gone. leaves. And then yeah, just- she has this thing about sending selfies that don't look great. Yeah, yeah. and it's just so aggressive, you know, like, mm-hmm. good morning, you guys. Love you. Like, it's like, who says I'm having a good morning? Yeah. Why are you assuming I'm having a good morning? Again, mm-hmm. like, that's just so aggressive and so yeah. rude. Yeah. Don't yeah, like, need that in the morning. Like, I love Chris, but there are times where she just. There are times. Mm-hmm. There are times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, like, we'll so they're, they're so watermelon, but like, you got to be careful about it. And you them. have to know. Yeah, you have to know who to put in which group chat mm-hmm. exactly like, yeah mm-hmm. don't make mistakes 
like Courtney did when she had sent that accidental text about me to yeah, the family. That, that wasn't a mistake. Last topic, empathy. So watermelon or so not watermelon. I feel like these topics are like purposefully like, I don't know. Like, is it, are they trying to prove we're I, like, are they, and don't have feelings or something? Yeah, like, what are all these topics? You talk about I, whales and then business. Like, what's going on here? I feel like out of the whole family, I'm probably the most empathetic, especially yeah. when it comes well, to my business. You could take the last part of that word. That's what you are. Yeah. I feel like, no, but like, really, I, I do think I feel the most, especially when it comes to my customers. I you feel cry the most. that's because I don't. Well, first of all, I don't cry. I do not cry a lot. I cry maybe what? Like once. Twice Let me guess, a year. Kim. Let me guess, Kim. You're an empath, right? I might be because I think I feel deeper. <laughs> all the people who people do. Anybody I hear say that are always the opposite. Exactly. You don't have to say that well, you, you feel that it, way. You said it for me. I didn't say it myself. But if you feel that way, I do think I am an empath. Like I just feel like somebody, you're one of those people. Somebody tells me they're having a bad day and I instantly, I instantly hear it and I, I, it's there. Yeah. Great, Kim. You really are. You really are. Like you're the empath, I hear, aren't you? I hear and see the ultimate so much. empath. Yeah, you I hear, hear and see it. Yes, you do. You can almost taste it, but I really just hear what they're saying and those are words. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's how I that's Riveting. how it that's that was how very it, that was deep. That was how deep. an empath works. How am I feeling yeah. right now? How am I feeling right now, Kim? What am I feeling? Well, you're flipping me off. Right. I feel like you're flipping me off when really that's a reflection of yourself flipping you off. <gasps> oh my God. She yeah. is an empath, Courtney. Yeah. Well, was that like self reflection right there? I guess so. And I just, I have to be more in touch with myself. Yeah. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional on how like strong her empathy is. So I, I know it can be I'm a lot. I'm very empathetic with you right now, Chloe. Because you- I know you're not listening to Kim's bullshit. Oh my God, are you an empath too? Anyway, uh, empathy is so watermelon. I it's feel so empathy towards and, everybody. And I definitely have it in Jax. Like Kim mentioned that she says that. And uh, what did you just say? I have it in Jax. Okay, I'm sorry I asked. Empathy, she had mentioned that she has empathy Especially towards her business. Now, that is not true. Uh, I feel empathy for her customers all the time. I'm I like, listen, absolutely. we'll send you something to help you out. We'll, we'll, we'll send you something. I don't feel empathy for the customers that willingly walk into. Yeah, that's a little different. Dumb when they know it's dangerous. We're going to be partnering with Sim Mart soon. So any major Sim Mart near you? Don't go. Yeah, that's how I feel. It's so watermelon if you are. And I empathize with how you feel about that. If you actually have empathy, it's so watermelon. It's so watermelon. And like I said, I have it in Jax. What is the Courtney? Like, you know, the playing cards, the Jack playing card. Courtney, why? I have it in Jax. Did you you have a lot of something? Ask Courtney. Because I want to know. It's no, the playing card. Not really. Card. I just the, like to hear her sound. The dumb. Jack hmm. playing card. It's the one he has, like the hat. Oh, I still don't get it. Who's the smartest? Me. Me. Now we're going into segment three. Who's the smartest? We're given three random words we don't know, and we try to guess what they mean. Whoever guesses the closest is the smartest. I don't even remember who got it last time. I think it was me. I think there was halves given out and you didn't get anything. I I think there were half of halves given out. Should we even do halves or quarters anymore? Should we just do like you either get it or you don't? Yeah, because some people are close but not quite. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We don't do the points anyway. (laughs) That's on our audience and we appreciate it. First word, zoo graft. Z O O G R A F T. I feel like I've heard this word and then like a you teacher. You always say that. I feel like I've, well, 
Let she me, likes to sound like she's I smart. I feel like I've heard this word, and I feel like I heard my teacher say it and thinking, you may think it has to do with the zoo, but it actually doesn't. But um, I'm going to go with the mindset, and I think it has something to do with the zoo. And I think that it has to do with um, the separating of the animals with uh, indicating their species. <laughs> So like the cages, they're in the sections. I love it. I I'll say it's a map of the zoo. A zoo yeah. graph. Oh, did you spell it? Yes. Kim. You did? I think that it's something more like, like with, I know what a skin graft is. So I think it's something where you're like replacing a certain layer with a new layer. Hmm. But, but nothing to do it's with zoos. synthetic. Well, I think it's like animal skins. Possibly. Like false skins. It's a, something you add so that the actual skin can like grow a little bit. It says a surgical graft of tissue from an animal to a human. Wait. I mean, that's kind of close, but I didn't know it comes from animals. Wow. So... Yeah. Wow. You I mean, get a half point, you get a half though. point because you're talking about skin. It's so. the skin. Because yeah. that's what a skin graft is. But I didn't know a zoo graft is literally when humans take it from an animal for themselves. Yeah. Well, you had mentioned animals. So, yeah, you, you had mentioned animals, but you didn't mention humans is what you didn't mention. I didn't mention humans because, well, I know what a skin graft is. Yeah. I didn't even know that was a thing that people put animal tissue in their body. Can I they mean, put, like, zebra if it's skin? there. But, yeah. Uh, interesting. So, that's oh. like, yeah, that's a half point. That's wow. an actual interesting uh, word that uh, I'm very scared. Shut up. Second word. I think it's sporogenesis. S P O R O G E N E S I S. I just spelled it, Kim. I heard. <laughs> I think it has to do with futuristic things. Like, like how? I don't know. Like, like, because, like, I'm thinking like Genesis, and there was a movie called Terminator Genesis. And it had to do with going in the future. Um, so I'm going to think it just has to do with like thinking like, you know, like what's to come or something like that. To me, it sounds like the beginning of spores. Yeah. Like how spores are began. Yeah. Like the be the early stages. This is how spores begin. The forming of a spore. Gonna, I was actually going to say something similar. Like the generations of spores. Well, you're saying how generations. Were, I'm and how saying they how were, and how they were developed. No, you said generations of spores. I'm saying how they were. Well, formed I mean that's start. the same thing. Generations of spores is like seeing how they. That's just saying there's generations. Also, that's not saying how they started. It's kind of like when they started from the beginning to the end. That's generations. Am I wrong? When you say generations, you're not talking about when it started. You're saying, oh, this is the next generation. The development of spores. How about that? That's yeah. It's literally what I said. So we're, we have the same. Figure it thing. out, bitches. It means the process of spore formation. Yeah. Oh, so we both got a point. Yeah. Fuck you. And you know what's to come when a spore forms, right? So I get a point. Too. No. No, I'm not, I'm not a reacher, unlike you two. If I don't get a point, I don't get a point. You absolutely do reach when you don't get a point. I only reach because you two reach as well. Let's try out this last word. Quit, quen it. Quit what? Q- quen net. Q U I N N E T. I literally have no idea. Quin it. Um, quin it. It almost sounds like it could be a sport. Of That's some literally sport. what I was going to say. <laughs> I Come was on, let's say go. Let's, co- let's go play a game of quin it. Quin it. It does sound British. Yeah, yeah it does British. sound British. And that that was a good game of Quinnet, wasn't it? Let's go play a game of Quinnet. If you are British and you're listening to this, I am so I not sorry. Like just I nailed deal with it. My English accent, yeah. 
So quit it. Sounds we like agree. a sport. It sounds like a gay. Yeah, it sounds like a sport. A sport that nobody likes, but you have to be like really rich to play. Yeah, I'll have to. I think it means like s- sewing of some kind. Oh, okay. Like a type like of sewing. I've got my. Just... I've got my quinet, and I'm gonna sew. Going to it's still gonna be English because quinet sounds English. I'm gonna make my blanket, and I'm gonna make you dance. Is it a style of sewing or like the process of sewing? I'll say it's a type of sewing. Okay. If it says knitting, I'll still give it to you. It's a snobbish sport is what it sounds like. It says an extremely independent and self-sufficient person. Oh my God, that's so me. So I'm a quinnet. No, I'm the fighter. No, the I'm a quinnet. No, that's me. I'm a quinnet. I'm a quinnet. I'm a quinnet. He's I'm a quinnet. little quinnet, short and cap. Um, so none of us get a point, I act- but I it's like a fun that, word. So we're all a quinnet. I'm a quinnet. Yeah, I love that. All my independent quinnets. Throw your hands up, quinnet. Anyway, thank you all so much for listening to our podcast. You are all thank you. so yeah. watermelon. Thanks for tuning in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you for listening so hard. All right. Thank you, everybody. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't. For joining. Okay. I won't do it anymore. I won't do it anymore. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for listening. I apologize for doing that. I okay. Have, I have empathy for you. I hope you. you forgive me. And I empathize with you. We <laughs> we empathize you. with you, Chloe. I love it. You guys I are so I love you forgiving. guys. I love you. You're the best. Right. I'm ready to wrap this up because I have to pee. Okay. Yeah. Then go and pee. I feel that as an empath, I can feel you need to be. You're not an empath. I am. But love thank them. you so much for listening. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Go take a pit. Bye. And Bye.